So this is gonna be a short video of what I think is the most obscene thing Microsoft has done yet. I've been experimenting on the latest build of Windows for a couple days, as the insiders broke the news about the new rejuvenated blue screen of death. For one thing, it's black again, but nothing comes close to what I've discovered just now. Everybody's talking about the beta branch, where Microsoft released the build 26120.3653, and the exclusion of the bypass NRO script. I decided to dig a little deeper and I selected the dev branch and promptly updated to the newer build 26200.5516 because I couldn't enable the new version of the bug check on the beta build, as stated in the previous video. So I enabled the new bug check feature using Vive tool on this version. And what do you think I found? Watch. They put a ad for OneDrive in a bug check. A blue screen of death that's now green contains an ad. Microsoft, what the hell are you doing? This is actually a new low. What lobotomized loser decided having an ad in a bug check is a good idea? I'm equally astonished and disgusted by this. What the hell, Microsoft? Okay, let's freeze frame and read this. Get the best deal on your cloud storage with Microsoft 365. Never lose your work again, as your documents save automatically to the cloud. Plus enjoy 1TB of storage and the full Office suite, all for just $6.99 a month with your Office 365 subscription. And there's a QR code. Well, let, let me scan it. <laughs> OneDrive.com. Alright, dude. Just... This is crazy. So yeah, this is a... Um, this is a thing. Microsoft put an ad in a blue screen of death. <sighs> there is nothing that can surprise me anymore, and apparently there is a new registry value you have to set to disable the ad on the bug check. So you have to go ahead and open the registry editor. Then you have to navigate to HKEY LOCAL MACHINE System, current control set, control, oops, crash control, find it right here, crash control, there we go. And inside of here, you have to create two values. The first one is a D word called display parameters. Then you have to set it to four. Next, you have to create another one, another D word, called disable promo. And then you have to set it to one. And this way, the ad is never gonna be shown again. So let's go ahead and try that out. We have to reboot first though. So, shut down. All right. Wait, what? Oh crap, I forgot it doesn't accept the arguments. Great. Let's use the command prompt then. Okay, we're back in the system, so let's go ahead and check this out. Once we crash, we shouldn't see the ad anymore. Alright. Honestly, this is pretty baffling, but somewhat expected from Microsoft. Once there's extra space on the bug check, of course it's gonna be filled with an advertisement. Despicable. I wonder though, why exactly the new display parameters are 4 and 1? I guess it's just another arbitrary bitmask value from Microsoft. Thanks for watching, I'm really disappointed. I might actually make the move to Linux now. Take care.